Bulletproof coffee is not keto. Hey, it's Scott Stanfield here, the Modern Longevitarian, and I wanted to get something off my chest today. Bulletproof coffee is not keto. Now, granted, the ketogenic diet, which is a low-carb diet, moderate protein, and high fat, it fits into the macronutrients, or what I refer to as the mid-level nutrients of fat, um, carbs, and protein, and the mix of those to stay within the guidelines of a modified ketogenic diet. Now, I've been doing keto for next month, will be four and a half years. Four and a half years. Now, I went two and a half years of that without even having a Bulletproof coffee. So it's not a requirement, and it's definitely not the starting point of getting into ketosis. The starting point of getting into ketosis is lowering your carbohydrates enough below 25 net carbs or whatever your threshold is for a carb tolerance until you get to the point where it forces your body to switch over and go, well, we're not going to get carbs, so we have to do what? We have to burn fat. We have to fat adapt. We have to turn this adipose tissue into a ketone uh, so we can have some energy. And, and, and so if you think you need to start with uh, a if you think you need to start with a bulletproof coffee to be ketogenic, you're wrong. Just take the carbs out, eat a sensible amount of protein. Um, if you want animal protein, you can do that. If you want plant-based protein, you can do that. Just got to be careful of your carb count. And then um, if you want to lose weight, lower your fat a little bit. If you want to maintain your weight, then you need to um, uh, have a higher level of of fat, but your carbs will pretty much stay the same until you decide to cycle out so you can cycle back in. Bulletproof coffee is not a requirement to be in, in a ketogenic state. If you like what you hear, go to my website, listen to the podcast, modernlongevitarian.com, or you can find me on Apple or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.